OpenAI co-founder and chief scientist Ilya Saskova announces departure. And this seems to be the continuation or the second round of the OpenAI drama from November. If you remember, Sam Altman ousted OpenAI boss to return days after being sacked. And Ilya Saskova was probably one of the, if not the ringleader that led to this whole OpenAI drama and the firing of Sam Altman, who then of course returned pretty, pretty fast. Now, below all of this, there's a story of OpenAI and making profit versus being non-profit and also having safety measures in place versus pushing the development further without so much safety concerns. Now, Ilya Saskova is definitely the person who wants to slowly develop this and take all the necessary safety measures. Sam Altman is more in the corner of pushing this as fast as possible, making it available for many, many people uh, and also making profit with it. Ilya Saskova also, and this led to some speculation now, is basically the chief of super alignment research. And alignment basically means how can we make sure that a developing AGI or ASI, an AI system that is as intelligent or more intelligent than humans, is aligned with human values and goals so that it doesn't go rogue and destroy us all or enslave us or whatever, but actually is beneficial for humanity. And very interestingly, just a day later, Jan Leek, co-leading super alignment at OpenAI, also resigned and left OpenAI. And this, of course, led to a lot of speculation, especially when we look here, many people are flooding the internet with this. What did Elias see? What did he see? Right? The people think that he saw something that maybe they even developed AGI, which would mean that alignment research is not needed anymore. And this is why they leave. But I think this is a little bit far-fetched. Of course, I enjoy the speculation and who knows, everything can be possible. But if we really look at the timeline here and what happened, <laughs> I see kind of a different picture. But yeah, so the speculation is, oh, what did Elias see? He must have seen something very big and this is why he left. Or hey, maybe they developed AGI, they achieved AGI, they solved the alignment problem and this is why they don't need alignment research anymore. This argumentation doesn't make a whole lot of sense in my opinion, but let's look at the timeline here and let's speculate about what I think probably happened. So we have on the one side Sam Altman who wants to commercialize products and who wants to push AI development as fast as possible. And on the other side we have Elias Saskova who wants to slow it down, who wants to make it more safe and wants to really focus on safety and all these aspects. Now Elias Saskova ousted Sam Altman. Sam Altman came back with the support of the whole open AI company and basically every employee there. And this was in November, and since then we did not hear anything from Elias Saskova. Well, a little bit, but not much. He was basically <laughs> a ghost. And now OpenAI comes out with the well, biggest announcement in quite a while, which is GPT-40. Huge announcement, amazing, media is full of GPT-40. And what happens now? Well, Elias Saskova comes out and he says, hey, I resign, I leave, I'm gone. Now, obviously, this is a little bit overshadowing the announcement of GPT-40. It's an abrupt announcement that is in many ways poorly timed, coming on the heels of OpenAI's announcement just yesterday of a new foundation AI model GPT-40 and will likely cloud coverage. So for me, this really just looks like a jab from a liar. Right? A jab to say, hey, yes, you won and there's probably a lot of tension behind, behind the scenes uh, and now he wants to jab OpenAI one last time and cloud the coverage of their new foundational model a little bit uh, by making his own news, by announcing his departure and then following the departure of, of the co-super um, alignment researcher just adds on to all of that and clouds the GPT-40 coverage a little bit. If we look at the statements, they are like very formal and just like, oh, such a genius and I love, uh, I love OpenAI, I wish them all the best, I had such a great time. This was posted at 1 a.m. and then just two minutes later, <laughs> um, my time 1 a.m., at 1 a.m. 02, Sam Altman is saying, oh yeah, genius of a generation and we will dearly miss him and he was so amazing uh, and we'll continue our work together that we started and this is all... Well, what they say for the public, right? What they have to say in a very formal voice. I feel like there's a lot of tension behind them. Of course, it's just speculation. Um, 
But yeah, this <laughs> I wouldn't take this as actually correct face value. Now the statement again of Elijah just came after the release, the keynote uh, of ChatGPT 4.0, uh, and then Sam Altman used the jab of Elijah by posting this, feeling the AGI today. Now of course Sam Altman now used used all the media attention that they have, and especially the departure from Elias Saskova that they now have, that covers a little bit the GPT-40 to yeah, get positive attention back to him by you know, making subtle, not so subtle, but very obvious hints about AGI, right, after the departure of Elia. So yeah, this I think is a pretty smart move from Sam Altman, bringing AGI into the, into the public discussion so that the Elias Saskova side jab gets another side jab from Sam Altman and brings back the talk about open AI and their new models and what they maybe are about to achieve or already have achieved. So for me this is really just an attention marketing kind of fight that they have there. Um, who can get attention away from whom with Elijah trying to leave a little jab when, when he leaves at his departure and Sam Altman trying to capitalize on that. But one thing that we can say though is that within OpenAI the people who want to develop as fast as possible and maybe don't pay that much attention to alignment and safety probably have one here. Should we, should we be concerned because of that? Well, maybe. Well, I don't think that AGI is coming out tomorrow or that they have AGI or whatever. Uh, again, I think this is just like marketing uh, media bus creation. But we probably should maybe a little bit concerned that the, well, let's say safety and reason voices are right now leaving OpenAI. But on the other hand, I still don't necessarily believe that the approach of OpenAI and quite uh, quite a few of the other companies actually has the potential to lead to AGI of, you know, creating LLMs that are bigger and better because they're always just based on predicting the most likely token to come next. And I know that Elias Sasuwa himself has said, no, this is a very good approach and this probably can lead to AGI. Um, but other reputable AI researchers such as obviously Ben Goertzel, but also Jan LeCun have said the contrary. And well, I have no idea, right? I am not an AI researcher, but what uh, Jan LeCun and Ben Goertzel say just sounds sounds more more logical to me, especially when we look at how LLMs work, that they don't have a proper understanding of the, what, what the world actually is, don't have a sophisticated theory of mind, uh, all these kind of things. And if you're watching this right now and think, man, <laughs> this guy is full of shit and has no idea what he's talking about, you might be right. <laughs> I probably don't have much idea uh, about what I'm talking about, right? I just uh, do my research. I am not an AI scientist. I cannot speak about the actual workings of that. But one thing I want to ask you is why or what I see in my comments and on many, many videos is that people get so emotionally involved in this. They really get angry when I say, oh, this is probably not AGI or we need to think about this as well. They really seem like, yeah, very emotionally involved and very agitated <laughs> when, when you question these kind of things. So I really want to ask you, why do I have with these statements so much emotional control over you? Uh, and why do so many people, if you are one of those people, why do you attack me? Or why do you feel the need to attack someone and not just have an interesting conversation about this? I would love to talk about this. I would love to hear your arguments and I would love to just, yeah, have an actual interesting uh, kind of, yeah, sophisticated conversation about the whole topic. You tell me your thoughts and you tell me your arguments, I tell you mine, and then together we come closer to what maybe is the actual truth or to a better understanding of one another. So <laughs> maybe step out of your own emotions that are clouding your vision and let's just talk just as a suggestion. Uh, but yeah, anyway. If you want to know the newest news about GPT-4.0 that is now overshadowed a little bit by all of this and what uh, OpenAI brought out just recently a few days ago, check out the video right over here uh, and I'll see you over there.